So you saved up some money, you're choosing between a Mac or an iPad device, and maybe you're wondering what makes Macs better. Well, luckily you're in the right place because today we're gonna go over five ways Macs are just better than iPads. First and foremost, Macs are better at file management. And yes, while the Files app with an iPad OS has come a long way, it's a lot more clunky and bloated or just blown up, if you will, because it is on a tablet operating system. Within Mac OS, similar to that of the File Explorer within Windows, it scales better. You have control over more at one time. It's designed to be used with the cursor, and I find it to be a lot more nuanced and professional. So if you're someone who is constantly accessing files, especially on different servers and external drives, you're gonna wanna stick with a Mac with an actual desktop operating system. The second way Macs are just better is with regard to word processing. And yes, you can run the same apps on iPad OS and Mac OS, however, you have a keyboard built in with a MacBook. So let's just say you were choosing between a 12.9 inch iPad Pro and a MacBook Air. If you are someone who's gonna be doing a lot more typing, I would recommend getting the MacBook Air because with an iPad, you're gonna have to spend an additional 100 to 200, maybe even $350 if you want an equivalent keyboard experience, especially if you're going with the Magic Keyboard. So again, if you're responding to emails, typing up essays, the like, Day two. So if you're responding once again to a lot of emails or typing up a lot of documents, I would wholeheartedly recommend going for a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro. The third way Macs are just better than iPads is with regard to multitasking. Although iPad OS is decent at doing it, you can have like up to three apps open kind of at once, two in split screen and one in the carousel view. And of course you can swipe at the bottom if you have the navigational gestures with iPad Air or Pro to switch to different apps. Within Mac OS though, you can have windowed views or just multiple windows open on the same desktop. So even though it's messier, it definitely allows you more control and you can just minimize stuff. So I don't know, for me, I feel like I have more control over what I'm doing. If I have to get a lot done, like a lot of research, I'm gonna have a bunch of tabs open, windows, I'm responding to emails, and I wanna quickly switch between stuff. Mac OS is my operating system of choice, especially because you have to use a mouse or a cursor to you know, navigate and drag stuff around. Although, once again, iPad OS is decent at it, I think Mac OS at this point is better, albeit it is a bit messier. The fourth way Macs are just better is with regard to performance, at least with the introduction of Apple Silicon. We've only had a taste of that, but from what I can tell, the M series of chips are going to outperform the A series of chips. In the past, iPad Pro did outperform or perform very similarly to like a MacBook Pro 13 inch with an i5 processor, but with the M1, I mean, we're going into i7 and even i9 territory. So we can only imagine how powerful M1X or M2 will be. So yeah, it seems like Apple setting that precedent. Macs are going to be more powerful than iPads, although I might eat my words because we have not seen benchmarks for A14X yet. And finally, the fifth way Macs are just better than iPads is in doing video editing. And yes, you can edit professional looking video with anything from an iPad 8th gen to an iPad Pro with LumaFusion. It's a great, powerful app. However, I find Final Cut Pro and of course the rest of the Adobe Suite and apps like DaVinci Resolve to be more professional. Even if these apps aren't exactly ported over to the Apple Silicon variants, of course you can still run them on an Intel one. So. Yeah, if you wanna do real professional video editing, you're gonna to wanna to buy a Mac because of the more professional apps available and because of the increased power and also I'll harken back to the first reason because of file management. File management is really important when it comes to organizing video clips and audio clips and such. And uh, yeah, that about wraps up this video here. Hopefully it was a nice compliment to my five ways iPads are just better than Macs video if you are choosing between the two. I'd appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions and of course, subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.